In this video traders, we are gonna look at a simple candlestick reversal pattern for all markets. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. All right, so it can be challenging to find the reversal point or the sweet spot of that reversal point when you're looking for a trade. And you know, the secret, if you like, is to try to find the highest probability point where the reversal could happen, but at the same time, quantify that risk as much as possible. There's no point in taking a trade. It's a great high probability reversal, a lot of strength coming in. You're buying into that strength, but it stops so far away that it makes the risk reward ratio of the trade one to one or something that really doesn't make any sense. What you want is to find a sensible place for the stop and to have a kind of signal that says yes, a definitive binary event that says, right, now we have a good chance of it being a reversal tick, the box is ticked, there's no ambiguity to it, you're taking the trade if all the other aspects of your strategy line up, and as a bonus, you've got a quantifiable level where you're coming out of the trade if the thesis is no longer valid. And the thesis, of course, is that this is a reversal. So this candlestick pattern, guys, is super, super simple, but yet it's super effective. Now, don't kind of use this anywhere or don't think that you can use this anywhere. A couple of common mistakes that we make as traders that we see something that kind of works and we think that we can implement that wherever we see it. Um, you know, some of the standard textbook patterns, reversal patterns that we, that we see, you know, if they're in the middle of a range or in the middle of a quiet market or if they're in the middle of lunchtime, if you're day trading, they just aren't gonna be effective. So it's the same with this, guys. This is super, super effective. And actually the last month after filming this, it's been a superb month for my own trading. And this is the kind of thing that I've just literally been leading on along with lots of other um, kind of filters and, and different things to, to bring up the trade to my attention. And then very often the actual entry will be based on something like this. So it's super, super powerful when used in the correct, uh, kind of bigger picture if you if you like. And so anyway, this is you, you can use this on any market, you can use this in Forex, you can use it in indices, commodities, you name it. But the point is it's super, super simple, but you're getting what I like to understand why it's working, the price action and and, and, and kind of story behind price that's, that's that, that this is saying to you. you know, this is basically shouting and saying, hey, this is what's happening. This is how supply and demand is shifting. Um, you could utilize this if you were already thinking of a position for want of a better uh, kind of way of looking at it. So let's go, go into the details. Uh, so this would be reversals to the long side and we're talking about a daily candlestick. So whatever you, however your, whatever market you're looking at with your 24 hour on your Forex, whether this is a stock, whether this is a commodity, whatever, it's a daily candlestick. And daily is super important because we want to have uh, kind of everyone from the singing from the same hymn sheet. So everyone's saying, okay, this is the day's worth of trade. Trouble is with a 15 minute or an hourly or four hourly or whatever you're looking at, is it's the kind of thing that everyone's looking at. Not everyone's looking at 15 or, or four hourly, but most people, participants, if you were, if you were to kind of survey every single participant in the market, um, you're gonna find that most people look at a daily chart because the higher time frame guys are looking at what happened today, lower time frame guys are using the reference point. It's one of those useful uh, time frames. So, uh, day one is this, day two is this, the same if we're talking about the short side. This is the long side reversal. We have day one, which is a red candle. Now, there is stuff that has to come before this, and I don't want to go into too much detail in this video. I want to keep this kind of broad and just talk about this, but there's other things that happen on, let's say, day minus one, minus two, minus three, all the way back that are going to make this effective or not, and it's going to depend on the market you trade. And like I say, a mod the module update goes into full detail about that, but this is useful on its own. So we have day one, which is the red day, and day two, which is the green day. Now, it doesn't matter so much about the color of the candlestick. Day one's probably always gonna be red because it's a down day. Uh, day two, not so important, but better if we can have a strong close. Anyway, what's happened is you've got the low of day one, which is here, you've got the low of day two here. Now, what happens today, or intraday, uh, is this. Market is opened here at the lows, at the prior day's lows. It's come down, it's put a new low in, and then it's rallied and closed at highs. I'm not so bothered about the rally and close at highs, which is a nice extra. You know, talk about grading the trade, that's a nice extra. But what is good is the fact that we've come straight back up through the prior day's low. That's the actual little sweet nugget that we like to see because it's saying, hey, we've rejected lower price. Sellers haven't got that aggressive. Buyers have actually seen that as value, stepped in, bid it back up, 
back above that and then even better if you're getting a kind of close this is even nicer because it's closing the middle of the body of the prior day so lots of good things and so that would say okay it's a binary event i.e it's happening or it isn't happening it's happening it's gone through a low it's come back we've tested through the low we've now closed above it uh, okay now we can look for the long the long is as we come up through the low the stop is very simply put hey if the think about the thesis behind the stop this is a reversal. Price should go higher from here. Where would the price have to go for my thesis to be invalid? Gonna be under the low, right? If it's gonna go back under that low, it's gonna be an invalid trade. So uh, that's where we put our stop. So it's long there, stop below the low, and of course targets, uh, again, depending on the type of thing you're trading, that's gonna be up to you of how you place it into your uh, strategy. Same thing for the downside, guys. You know, you've got to rally on day one, day two, you've got to push through the high, uh, this doesn't continue, kind of comes back out, uh, down through the high. Your short is as it comes back through the high, your stop's gonna be above the, the current day's high, and then you're gonna ride that for however long. Uh, kind of fits in with the thesis and the plan and the idea and the, and the, and the deal that you've got out there. So that's a simple candlestick reversal pattern uh, for all markets. It is super simple, guys, but it's super effective. It does definitely depend on where you use it and what you're using, how you're filtering the trade beforehand before you use this as your potential entry to take the deal. All right, guys, take care. See you next one. Keep your risk managed. Bye-bye for now.